A very blessed morning to all my lovely students. I am Ruchika Thakur, your English teacher, and welcome back in your English class. Students, today we are going to start our new chapter of grammar book, chapter number twenty-two, and the name of the chapter is adverbs. Yes. What do you mean by adverbs? An adverb is a word that modifies verbs and adjectives. How many kinds of adverbs are there? There are four kinds. How many kinds? Four kinds. First one is adverbs of manner. Adverbs of manner tells us how an action is going on. For example, the turtle is walking slowly. Here we came to know how the turtle is walking. Slowly. So slowly is adverb of manner. Our second kind is adverbs of place. Adverbs of place tells us where an action is going on. For example, the boys are playing outside. Here we came to know where the boys are playing. Outside. So outside is adverb of place. Our third kind is adverb of yes, absolutely right. Adverb of time. Adverb of time tells us when an action is going on. On which time an action is going on. For example, we will go for picnic tomorrow. So here, tomorrow is adverb of time. Our last and fourth kind is adverb of frequency. Adverbs of frequency tells us how often an action is going on. Daily, never, sometimes, often, occasionally, right? How often an action is going on? For example, Sia goes for walk daily. So how often she goes? Daily. So let's start our chapter number 22 of grammar book, which is adverbs. So here you can see chapter number 22 of grammar at verbs. A word that modifies verbs or adjectives are called an adverb. Okay. So here you can see an adverb answers how, when, where, how often an action is going on. Four kinds of adverbs. Adverbs of manner. Adverbs of manner tells us how an action is going on. For example, Rhea writes neatly. How Rhea writes? Neatly. The soldiers fought bravely. How the soldiers fought? Bravely. I solved the sum easily. How I solved the sum? Easily. So here you can see all these are examples of Adverb of manner. Our second kind is adverbs of place. Adverbs of place tells us where an action is going on. Come here. Where? Here. So here is our adverb of place. They are playing outside. Where they are playing? Outside. So outside is the example of adverbs of Please. Third kind is adverbs of time. Adverbs of time tells us when an action is going on. For example, do this work now. When? Now. I met her yesterday. When I met her? Yesterday. So all these are examples of adverbs of time. Okay. Our last kind is adverbs of frequency. Adverbs of frequency tells us how often an action is going on. How often? Daily, sometimes, never, right? She goes for a walk daily. I never tell a lie. 
So never and daily are examples of adverbs of frequency. Got it? So I hope you learn the definition of adverbs. Okay. Now we will proceed with exercise part of this chapter. Learn all the examples of adverbs of frequency specifically. Okay. Sarah writes neatly adverbs of manner. She lives here. Where? Here. So adverb of. Adverb of. This is example of. Adverb of place. She visited, visited us once. Frequency. Adverb of. Frequency. I always exercise, always, adverbs of frequency. The girl ran forward. This is example of adverb of place. The soldiers fought bravely, bravely, adverb of manner. The children are playing outside, outside, adverb of place. She is always late, always, sorry. Always adverb of frequency. Choose the adverbs of manner from the box to fill in the blanks. The girl crossed the road carefully. He dash solved all the sums easily. Third is the beggar ate the food greedily. Greedily. Snake crawled slowly. The guard blew the whistle loudly. See part you will do by yourself. You will frame your own sentences by changing them. By adding ly, you have to change them in adverb of manner. Make adverbs from the given words com and complete the sentences. The singer sang sweetly. Ly, you will add. The baby slept soundly. The teacher scolded angrily. The tiger roared. Firstly, right? The moon is shining. V R I G H T L Y brightly, right? Underline the adverbs of place in the following sentences. It is too cold outside. I will sit there. The students looked up. Sit down. There is an exhibition upstairs. Let's go inside. The Thomas is playing outside. Come here. So F and C part you will do as a homework and you will learn all the examples and specifically definition. Take care students. Bye.